Let's uh, cross on over to uh, Nabil Rajab, who's the head of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, joining us from the capital, Manama, on the phone. Nabil Rajab, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. First of all, Bahraini ruler King Hamad talked about the success of his reforms in his new speech. Do you have any idea what reforms he's talking about? Well, I mean, any witness and monitor to the situation in Bahrain will realize Bahrain is in a political crisis. There is no such reform and there is no such a dialogue. And as you know, the dialogue, it has failed from the day it started. Because the government, instead of having a dialogue with people, they have differences with. They brought groups and organizations and political Islamist group that was created by the royal court and by the government and intelligence and security institution to look like it's a dialogue between the people of Bahrain and uh, with the Bahraini government. But it is not at all. We think the dialogue should have been with the people who are inside the presence now. We think that uh, people should, re should be represented in a fair manner. We know that uh, the uh, actual problem in Bahrain between the people of Bahrain and between the ruling family or the royal uh, elite who are ruling the country in terms of uh, the rights and elected government or wealth or distribution of power, distribution of wealth. And once the dialogue that government is not represented or the ruling family is not represented, uh, then you can't call a dialogue. Here, the only decision maker in, in, in the country is the ruling family, is the king, the prime minister, and uh, the crown prince. And not the government at all. Government is only uh, something like very close to proper to uh, the ruler's uh, decision. So this decision, this uh, dialogue, uh, government were represented. Uh, the ruling family were not represented. The representative of people were not there. So that's why it has into nowhere, and the, the, we, the same way we started, we end up this dialogue. Uh, people, uh, we have still uh, hundreds uh, behind Barn and President, uh, leader of opposition and human rights defender, doctors and bloggers and all. We still have people, more and more people being fired at work. From one side, government tries to show that they are uh, heading towards a reconciliation by forming uh, commission to do an investigation and inquiry into the human rights crisis. From the other side, we see more villages being raided, uh, more people being fired. Just uh, two hours ago, the flag of the doctors without borders were raided. Things were taken from there by the security institution and intelligence institution. We don't know what happened for the staff of the doctors without borders, as at least one of them were arrested so far. Uh, so the uh, repression, the violation, the crimes against humanity is continuing on a daily basis. People are being targeted in their living, uh, in their job. Uh, more teachers, more doctors uh, being fired today, yesterday, before, before yesterday. The crisis is getting deeper and deeper. As government doesn't yet have a, a real political willingness to solve their problem because they're backed by the Saudis and they think once Saudi is backing the government, once the Saudi could fill up the financial gap that have been caused by the crisis, then they think they could continue with the repression. But it is very pro problematic because, as you know, Bahrain, everybody uh, visiting Bahrain will would see the, 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 they will feel the crisis. No people visiting Bahrain, no tourists, uh, hotels almost empty, businesses almost collapsed in Bahrain. And government still continuing with their uh, crazy, bloody uh, crackdown against those people fighting for democracy and uh, human rights. So I don't know where is the word called reform. I mean, we just hear that uh, by the king or the prime minister. In the, we see that in the newspaper and TV. But nobody among the Bahrainis takes that into consideration. Nobody trusts that we have any kind of uh, reform process going on in this country. Well, as you mentioned, human rights violations still going on. Uh, at the same time, there uh, seems to be a political willingness that is uh, pretty much uh, introduced in this so-called national dialogue from the monarchy, but that's backed by Saudi Arabia. It doesn't even sound like a national dialogue should take place unless a framework comes into play of an agreement, but it seems like you're far from that. So is this a deadlock, and where to next quickly, if you can, in about 20 seconds or less? Well, I'd say I don't think we are heading to an stable uh, near future. And uh, if there is no, if the country, the, the friends of our country don't push the government and to sit with the people and have a real dialogue 
And I don't think we are heading towards a, a peaceful end or a peaceful uh, situation in the future. As we see, protests are increasing, more people dying. Last night, somebody was hit critically. He is in the hospital now. And that's why they raided the flat of uh, the doctors without border because they tried to uh, treat him and they were not allowed to do that. So we see more human rights violations and more crimes committed. And I don't think if there is no political solution, I don't think we are heading towards a peaceful end. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Neville Rajab, head of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights with his comments from the capital, Manama.